Back to the shop. Alright, so we left off yesterday. I had these lines laid out to cut the strips for the sidewalls on this tank. Uh, I laid them out at 11 and three quarter inches um, but then uh, I talked to my customer again last night and he said he wanted the tank to go wanted me to go ahead and make the tank a even 12 inches tall so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these lines out and lay out some 12 inch strips and go ahead and cut them on out
Alright guys, wrapping up day two on this tank build. I uh, got all my seams inside welded that I need to get welded inside. Um, and then I started bending, bending the hoop around. I got the back plate all welded on internally. Um, so we'll get this hoop finished up, get it tacked on, and then I'll be able to go around the outside and do all my seam welds. Um, I uh, I didn't get video of doing all that because my camera battery is running low, so I wanted to at least uh, be able to get some video of what I got to here at the end of the day. So that's what I got at the end of day two. Um, stick around for more. I'll catch you back on day three. All right, guys. Morning, day three on the tank build. Um, just got to the shop. I'm gonna get everything set up and get back on it. This is what happens when you don't have enough clamps. Flywheel, torque converter, brake, drum, three pieces of, I guess they're like bases for the material roller stands or whatever. And then one clamp, clamp in that way. Now we should be able to get a tack on it and hold it where it's supposed to be. All right, let's reset. Guys, so I got some, made some progress on it. Um, I got the uh, whole outer band tacked all the way on. Um, some of my gaps are a little bit bigger than I would have wanted, but I did cut out the uh, the end plates freehand. So I mean that's that's to be expected. Um, wish I had a plasma table, CNC plasma table to cut this stuff out, but. I gotta work with what I got, so um, some the, the seam welds aren't gonna be the most consistent because I'm gonna have some gaps out to fill up, other spots it's nice and tight. Um, but I'm gonna do the best that I can and we'll get all the seams welded up and hopefully this afternoon I can go get with the customer and we'll test fit it in the car and to sort of show me where he wants his fittings and stuff like that and we will proceed on. So yeah, that's what I got done this morning. Uh, I'm going to eat, eat a quick bite of lunch and then I'll come back and I'll work on getting all the scenes loaded.